Topic for today's discussion is first pass metabolism. It is also called as first pass effect or pre-systemic metabolism or pre-systemic elimination of a drug. So what is this first pass effect? It is the metabolism of drug during its passage from site of absorption to the systemic circulation. It is the metabolism of drug during its passage from site of absorption to the systemic circulation. That means it's a metabolism of drug before the action of drug. It's a metabolism of drug before the action of drug. That means it get inactivated before it reaches the systemic circulation. It get inactivated before it reaches to the systemic circulation and it is the important feature of oral route of drug administration and it is sometimes seen with rectal route of drug administration. So what are the various sites where first pass metabolism can occur? It can occur in gut wall and it can also occur in the liver before it reaches to the systemic circulation. It can occur in the gut wall and it can also occur in the liver. An extent of first pass metabolism differ from drug to drug and person to person. So there are two types of first pass metabolism, partial first pass metabolism and complete first pass metabolism. In case of partial first pass metabolism, the inactivation of drug is partial. That means you have to give the higher dose of particular drug to increase the bioavailability of drug because the most of the drug get inactivated due to first pass metabolism. That's why you have to give the higher dose of particular drug. For example, like nitroglycerin, propranolol, salbutamol undergoes partial inactivation. So if you increase the dose of that particular drug, that will increase the bioavailability of that drug. And the second thing is that complete inactivation of drug or complete first pass metabolism. In that case, you have to change the route of drug administration. Because there is complete inactivation of the drug or complete first pass metabolism of drug. So there is only one option remains and that is that you have to change the route of drug administration in case of hydrocortisone, insulin or isoprenaline. Thank you.